Let's try this fair share problem called roommates. You have bedroom one, Taylor has bedroom two, and Pat has bedroom three. Pat requests to use the den as an office space. So Pat has a little bit of his own space, the office. Taylor will only be home four days a week for the next six months. So she's not really making use of the space fully, so she's going to be gone for a bit. Considering this, propose a fair way to divide the monthly rent and utilities of this apartment for the next six months. Explain and justify your solution. Be sure to include any calculations, estimations, and any assumptions you made. So keep in mind that we did work on a past case study involving rent as well as bills. So let's look at this marking guide. Here are some aspects of a good solution that demonstrates good understanding. So we have to communicate very clearly what is fair. We can't just divide by three because for example, Pat is using the office as his own space, so he has to pay a bit more. Whereas Taylor will be gone for quite a bit, so therefore she should possibly pay less. So we're dividing the cost of rent, which is the same as before, as well as utilities, 240. As you can see, electricity plus internet is 240. And as we mentioned, we need to respect the fact that each roommate is using a different amount of space, as well as some roommates are spending less time in the apartment during these six months. So we are using the information from the past case study, and the total area here is 118 point something. And so we need to show some calculations. We agree that the shared area is a certain amount, everything other than the bedrooms, and then we divide by three. We're assuming each renter uses one third of the shared area plus their bedroom. So these calculations show exactly how much each person should pay according to the area that they are, they're actually using. Utilities cost 240 a month, but the idea of a fair share is that you pay more of the utilities depending on your area that you're using of, of the apartment. So utilities are divided in a fair manner where people who have more space have to pay a bit more. Now because Taylor was absent for three out of seven of the next six months, she only needs to pay her share, which is four sevenths of her amount, $80. So the other two roommates, Pat and yourself, would pick up the slack and pay the rest. So we discussed all the components of a correct solution already. Just make sure you communicate it very clearly. Of course, the monthly shares of the roommates must total to be 1440, and we want to make sure that we're using numbers and calculations in a reasonably sophisticated manner. On the BC numeracy assessment, we can expect a fair share problem. 